Alright, hello, welcome to A to Z Ozone. Uh, today we'll be replacing the plates on an A7K, a much needed video that we've been halfway neglecting to do. <laughs> so, we're going to go ahead and treat you to that video today. <laughs> Alright, so, for the first thing that I'd recommend that you do is you have four wires that are connected to the plates. Uh, they're the red wires that go here. They actually provide the plate with the power that is needed. I'd recommend removing the four screws off of that first. As you remove them, you can either keep them in your hand or set them off to the side. I would make sure to keep them separate, even though there's not really any other screws that you can mess them up with or switch them up with. It's just better to keep them separate so that way you know for a fact that you have everything that you need. All right. Then the next thing that you need to do is you have four nuts that are holding your plates actually onto the unit itself and you'll go ahead and remove those next. Alright, just go ahead and set those nuts off to the side. Lift up your plate and you'll have two washers. Go ahead and set them with your nuts. Alright. So as you're doing this, there's also one other thing that you should check for whenever you are uh, taking off your plates. Underneath both of your plates you have what is called a fire plate here. And what this does is it, if the high voltage for some reason becomes reactive and it starts to get too warm to where it might catch on fire, this plate will efficiently set that fire out and stop your house or whatever building you have it in from catching on fire. Um, you need to make sure that there's no black charring on this. If there is, you'll need to go ahead and replace it. Uh, you can call us and it will be a special order that you'd have to put in. But we would go ahead and send you this plate to help prevent your house from catching on fire. So just go ahead and reinstall that after you've inspected it. Grab your new plates and go ahead and place the first set on the post mounts. Um, once you have it in the post mounts you can go ahead and stretch the spring over the end of the plate to provide the cushioning and stability for it. Alright, then after that it's time to go ahead and pick up your washers and go ahead and place them back onto the plates. And then after you've placed all of your washers, you need to go ahead and take your um, nut and put it back on. Alright, you can go ahead and tighten those down. Make sure they're about hand tight, you don't want to over tighten them. Because if you over tighten them, you take the chance of breaking the ceramic plates or anything ceramic. Alright, then we'll go ahead and pick up your screws. Place them into the little eyelet rings. 
And then once you have them in the eyelet ring, I'll do them one at a time just to make it easier because if you put all of the screws into the eyelet rings, then they'll fall out just as you're going. So it's just better to do them one at a time. Make sure you don't over tighten these ones because if you over tighten these, it will crack the uh, metal that transfers electricity from the high voltage transformers to the plate itself. I am using a torque driver, so torque drivers are also okay. You just don't want to use your normal drill because most people have their normal drill set to the drill portion to where it won't torque at all and it'll just crack it. And there you go, you've successfully replaced your A7K ozone plates.